Hey everyone, this is Arlene. I wanted to put this video together because I received several requests to show the inside of my Secret Garden mini album that I recently posted to my YouTube channel as well as to my my blog and my Facebook. I did this mixed media cover and I did a tutorial on YouTube showing you exactly how I created that. And then I did some still shots of the inside of the mini album, but I got a lot of requests for um, doing a video that shows you exactly up close the inside and kind of talk through that. So you've seen my mixed media cover. Uh, that's what it looks like with me moving it, <laughs> not in pictures. And uh, I did some tool, uh, I tied some tool up here in a bow and I used this beige tool mixed in with some pink tool. And that was just for my stash. And you'll see that I have one garment pin for the charm and then each other each of the other charms that are hanging on here is hanging on its own individual garment pin. So I have a Prima flower and all of these were altered using some gesso and my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. I have a random key from my stash. I have a chipboard piece from the chipboard tags by Graphic 45 coordinates with Secret Garden. I also have one of the metal butterflies from the Staples collection that I embossed and then I altered it with gesso and my Lindy Stamp Gang Spray and I love the shimmer, the two-tone effect that the Lindy Stamp Gang Spray gives it. And then I had this little metal frame in my stash and all I did was add some stickers from the Secret Garden sticker sheet. And I put an F on there because that's the first initial of my mom's name and I'm giving this mini album to her. And then on the back side it just says Rose. You guys, I love the texture that the chicken wire added to the cover. It's just awesome. It's so amazing, I love it. It's one of my favorite altered pieces to date because I haven't created anything like this before uh, for a mini album. So it's just, it's really special to me and I'm giving this to my mom. Uh, so when you open it up, there's a photo mat. Now my mom loves to garden and so she takes a lot of pictures of her flowers, especially when they're in bloom. So I made sure that I added some photo mats in here for her to be able to put her photos. And you'll see that I didn't adhere down over here so that she could just plop the photo right in there and she can do some journaling directly on the spot and then just tuck it in here and she can write whatever she wants there. She can write over here. Um, the album is by AccuCut. I can't remember the exact name of it, but the size I believe is six by six, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe six and a half by six and a half, but I love the tabs on the side. And I just put some stickers from the Secret Garden sticker sheet, like on the on the sides and stuff, so just to kind of accent the little tabs. Uh, I created this pocket here, and inside I created a tag, and I created it by using some of the design paper from Secret Garden, and then I used my Tim Holtz on the edge die to create that edge there. And I just layered two sheets together of the design paper. And if you haven't seen the Secret Garden collection, check it out on the Graphic 45 website. I'm not gonna flip through the pad on this video. a chipboard piece right here from the chipboard tag set. And then this little banner here is from the new cardstock banners. Now let me show you what that looks this like. This is a banner set and it's two sheets and I'm so sorry for the glare. There we go. So we have banners on this side, all types of banners and uh, labels or bottle cap uh, type labels. And then over here is more banners. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's two sheets in a pack. And then let me just show you these for now because you're gonna see more of these in the mini album. These are the tags and pockets. And of course it's the Secret Garden collection so it'll coordinate nicely. I love having these things because then it puts the thinking out of creating. You can just pretty much just add the pockets and you're good to go. Okay, so um, so that's the pocket. I have some Hobby Lobby lace, some I Am Roses flowers. I have a chipboard button over here from the chipboard tag set and then a little tab here as well and some stickers from the sticker sheet. And I added a little white doily back there. There we go. So it looks just like that. And then flip it over is another full size photo mat. And then another banner here from the banner set, some doilies, stickers, a little tag from the cardstock tag set. So pretty, this is from the sticker. I have some Recollections flowers here, another banner. And this is a vintage uh, postage from the 12 by 12 um, Secret Garden sheet. I used a combination of the 12 by 12, eight by eight, and I also used some sheets from the six by six patterns and solids. So you'll see a mixture of that in here. Now this is just a, uh, what do you call this? Like it's a, it's made out of the design paper and I just folded it 
uh, to create a little pocket on the opposite side, but this is the flat side. What I did is I used the pocket and tags. So that's a little tag here. And there's space for a photo back there. That just goes back in the pocket. And then here's another tag here. And everything is distressed with gesso. So you'll see the end, the edges are white. I used gesso to do that. And there's a doily back here. And I didn't um, adhere it all the way down so my mom can insert a photo back here if she wanted to. Okay, and then it just flips like this. And the whole entire album is bound with my cinch. And I received another message to do a tutorial on how to bind with a cinch. So that's a whole other tutorial, guys. I'll probably have to work on that one a little bit later. Um, but I just put some doilies back here just to add some interest when the when the little tag's in the pocket. But it's a really simple tag, and I used a Tim Holtz die uh, to cut this out with a design paper. And then I just have these little circles are from the banners set. And then I just have some stickers here from the sticker sheet. A little key is from the banner set also. You can see that. Really simple. It just tucks in right there. And then over here, this Scott's Roses uh, vintage note or journaling spot or how a uh, vintage label if you will this is from the 12 by 12 sheet and I just cut it out and I use dimensionals on the back side here here and here to create a pocket for these tags in here and I'll show you those in a minute these are from the cardstock banners and the stickers are from the sticker alphabet sheet and then I just have some I am roses flowers and holding those on and then I have a combination of a chipboard uh, cardstock label from the banner set and then some I am roses flowers okay and then this is a sticker over here and so these are just tags that I actually created with the design paper these aren't from the tags and pockets set so that tag I created and I just added some some twine from the twinery up there and then over here is a banner from the banner set with a sticker from the sticker sheet that says flowers and then it's just a journaling spot. It just opens up like that. And this is a Tim Holtz die, I believe. And here's another tag for some journaling. And the nice thing about the pockets is my mom can insert additional stuff in there, like photos, uh, receipts, just anything that she wants to, to keep in here. Because it's really a keepsake album. Okay, and then you flip it on the other side. And then here's another one of the... Uh, vintage labels from the 12 by 12 sheet and then I just added these journaling spots from the 12 by 12 secret garden sheet as well and this is another one of the labels which is really nice or the banners so fun um, like I said it makes creating so easy here's a postage sticker from the sticker sheet and these just tuck in like that this was cut using memory box dies I have the window and the shutters and then this is just a chipboard tag and then a little label here from the cardstock banners. Um, Petaloo flower, I am Rose's flower. That's pretty much the gist of that page. And I love how um, the little girls are playing when you look out the window. Really cute. Okay, and then on this side, this is just a little pocket that I, uh, pocket that I created with an AccuCut die. There's a photo mat and then over here is another pocket and tag set. And I just put a chipboard tag right on top of there from the Secret Garden chipboard tag. And then a little, uh, what do you call that? Another little chipboard tag, which is like a little dot with a flower on it, which is cute. And then I have a little Imaginarium Designs clock just peeking from the back. And that was just something random for my stash. It was just like cut in half. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to fit that into this album somewhere. So I just stuck it back there. And I just gessoed it up a little bit. And then these are just more vintage... Uh, journaling cards or labels from the the 12 by 12 sheet and I just have it stuck in this pocket here and like I said it's it's a it's a functional pocket so my mom could stick other things in there as well another photo mat another banner up here another pocket filled with little tags and uh, she could do some little journaling on the back or little photos of her pictures or however she wants to do that I just thought that was so cute to just kind of stick it there and it's got a whole bunch of little tags in there I am Rose's flowers and some vintage lace Another nice size photo mat here, and then another one of the pocket and tags from the new pocket and tags cardstock set. And then some I Am Roses flowers and more vintage lace. And then this tag comes out, and it's one of the Graphic 45 packaging recycled from the staples. And I just add some design paper and this borders from the sticker sheet. 
and same thing on the back. And it just goes in right there and she could insert more things in there if she wanted to. And another one of the journaling spots or vintage labels, a photo mat here, full size. And I didn't adhere this down all the way so she could pull, um, she could insert the photo back there. There we go. So it's not adhered down. And this is just the sticker. I just did it back to back, the sticker, so that it's like a pull tab so you can get it out. And then she can just uh, add more photos back there. So that just goes right in there. And then there's a little journaling spot here that I added on the tab with the cardstock. I'm sorry, not cardstock, the chipboard tags. And then I have an I Am Roses flower, like right on there. And then this is cute. This is like a little pocket where my mom can insert like seed packets if she wanted to. And then she can put a photo here. And I just put some I Am Roses flowers and then a little chipboard tag that says plant good seeds. And then these stickers are from the Secret Garden alphabet sheet. The back side, it's just a journaling spot and then more of the journaling spots from the collection. And over here, a huge journaling spot, or my mom could put a photo on there if she wanted to. Um, there's a postage stamp from the sticker sheet, some I Am Roses flowers, and sprays from my stash. And then another spot where she can put a photo. And again, this isn't adhered down all the way, so she can insert the photo behind there, as well as behind the rose. That's not down all the way as well, if you guys can see. And this is one of the labels from the, I'm sorry, one of the banners from the banners set and the back is really simple another journaling spot or a place to insert a photo and the pocket just goes in like that now I always try to put the uh, make the pockets I use dimensionals on these sections of the pocket so it's kind of raised a little bit and that way you could fit more things in the pocket and easily get the um, the photo mat in and out as well okay and then in the back of my album it just has my handmade by me um, stamp and then I have a tag sticker from the sticker sheet and it says with love and with love is from the sticker sheet as well and it just has a little I am roses flower on there so that is my mini album you guys I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial video that I put out and enjoyed this video showing you the inside of the mini album if you have any questions leave a comment thanks so much for watching have a great week you guys bye